Hey everyone, welcome back to Sports Banter. Uh, I'm today's host, I guess, Luca, who just got Rick rolled in 2021 <laughs> by um, one of the other hosts today, Calvin. And we're also Hello. with Bryce. Calvin, do you want to tell the audience what just happened? Yeah, I have this file called Steelers Lost Today, Here's Why.mp3, and it's just uh, it's just Rick Astley. Yeah, it was horrible. I'm, I'm traumatized. Anyways, this is not Rick Astley banter, which that might have to be an episode someday. This is sports banter, and we're talking about... Is that after... What? Question. What? Is that after bronze sexual banter? Yeah, but that... that and that's before food banter. Food banter has to happen gotcha. one day. Um, where okay. we get into heated arguments over which pizza's better, Domino's and or uh, uh, Papa, Papa John's. John's. It's Domino's, hey, dude. It's you Domino's. Want to watch your mouth. <laughs> it's this Domino's. is going to be a video. All right. Anyway, it might, low key. Anyways, this is the first official opening week uh, video of the Major League Baseball Federation. I don't know why I said Federation. That's not even in the thing. Um, Boys, how y'all feeling so far? How y'all Royals teams looking? Your Indians team looking? Your Braves team looking? Braves looking like crap, but they did win two games today. We'll get into that. Any first initial reactions from y'all two? The Royals have a winning record, and so I'm happy. Yeah. Braves don't have a winning record. Uh, The Royals are second in their division. Um, mm-hmm. They were first before the game today. <laughs> still a lot to go uh-huh. over. Let's first talk about some of the stuff that happened in the opening day weekend. That sounds stupid, but yeah, it was the Thursday, Friday, Saturday set of games. The Oakland A's got swept. The Atlanta Braves got swept. The Red Sox, thank the Lord, got swept. Um, The only game I really want to go over in there was... um. The Phillies Braves because the Phillies infield looked incredible. First base, second base, shortstop, third base, all looked awesome. Um, and it was a good, important wins for the Phillies. I think the Braves can bounce back, though. They still have a very talented team. Just just getting the jitters out of the first couple of games. But um, shout out to the Astros. I know rare saying for me, um, Michael Brantley could be the MVP for this team. They destroyed the A's. He had six hits against them. And he's sitting at the time was sitting a six seven seven average, which is insane. Um, Atlanta got back to back dubs today against the Nationals. Very good for them. Nationals aren't the greatest team, but they needed this. And the Red Sox um, looked they looked better against uh, the Reds the past couple of days. And the Reds aren't too bad. So interesting things to think about. Y'all have any opinions? Nope. Nope. All right, moving on. Um, big early news that happened, I believe, Friday night was um in the Brewers Twins game, there was dual no hitters possibility that was happening. Corbin Burns for the Brewers and um Berrios for the Twins. Neither of them could pull it off, but they both um pitched six innings each, and they combined for twenty three strikeouts, which is insane. That's really, really good. Um, so great performance with those two. Hopefully they keep it up this season. Um, moving on. And the um, opening day series between the Reds and the Cardinals. There was a massive fight. Bryce, I know you saw this fight, and I know you enjoyed it, yeah? Yeah, it was, yeah that was – it was so entertaining to to watch it go down. Like, this was opening day, right? Uh yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the or it was the next day. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was opening day. Um, dude, like they already got heat. Yeah, on the first like two days. Nick Castellanos for the Reds, uh, slid into home plate, felt his bag, got hit, got mad, started yelling, screaming. The pitcher was like, "Why are you yelling at me, dude?" Um, but yeah, I don't really like Castellanos for that. Feel like it was cheap from him. But he has started off awesome. He's had over six hits, five four five average. Um, yeah, but but for the Cardinals, uh, Nolan Ariando, he's been awesome for them. Five hits, three runs, three eighty five average from that series. So I think we should expect big things from both of those teams moving on. Um, 
Next, who's on the picture for today's video is my boy, German Mercedes. He is a DH slash catcher for the White Sox, and I'm pretty sure he had the best Major League Baseball start ever um, for opening day. One, um, The first three games, he had one run, five hits, then he had one run, three hits, then he had one hit in the third game, and he was like, his first eight bats were like all hits, or he all got on base on each of those first, first eight at bats, which is insane. Um, then on Monday, he had a good game against the Mariners. He had three hits, and he also scored two runs. He's just an animal. Um, then uh, a team I would like to sort of mention quickly is the Angels. They look sort of odd, but I like them. Mike Trout looks very good. Um, he's starting his season pretty decently, um, and he might, by the end of it, still be the best player in Major League Baseball. Who knows? But shout out to Otani, the pitcher. Uh, he hasn't started for them in a little bit. Then he started a few days ago. Um, threw a couple of Ks, looked really good on the mound. Then he hit a 450-foot homer. Insane. It looked incredible. He's also batting a designated hitter for them. He's looking good there, too. Awesome for him. Uh, that team could do a lot, but I'm not, sh I'm not sure if they're able to. They took, in, they took a loss to the Astros, but they were going against Zach Granke who's just a beast, um, future Hall of Famer. But that's good sh uh, stuff for them. Bryce, do you want to talk about your Royals? Absolutely. I've been waiting for this moment. Yeah. So they started off really strong against the Texas Rangers in that series. They went 2-1, and one, and I already know. Like, they're probably going to be one of the worst teams in baseball. So, like, it's not that big of a deal. But the Royals scored a combined 25 runs in the first two games against the Rangers. And I, I think that speaks for something. Mm -hmm. I mean, you weren't getting that last year from the Royals. And a huge part of this kind of huge scoring run was Michael A. Taylor. And he's a guy that I've heard is not the best player, kind of a below average player. But during that, during the first three games... He had a .462 batting average, two home runs, which was tied for first in the MLB at the time, and then six RBIs, which is, again, is tied for first in the MLB at that time. Mm -hmm. But that's all in the first three games from a guy that you, like, you don't even know who he is. Mm -hmm. But it's not really just him. I think the entire team looked phenomenal in their batting performances. Mm-hmm such as uh, Salvador Perez and Whit Merrifield. And I didn't watch the third game. I know they lost to the Rangers, but I, I can't speak on it. And then so far, the, there's been two games with the Indians. Um, April 5th, they won 3-0. to zero, And the story of that game was Danny Duffy, who pitched, who he got five strikeouts in six innings. And, Danny Duffy's not a guy who's supposed to be good, mm -hmm. but the fact that he pulled out five strikeouts and no runs allowed, I mean, for him, that's that's a big deal that they could keep him in for six innings mm -hmm. and, you know, hold Cleveland to zero runs. Mm -hmm. And another another big story of that game was Whit Merrifield, like I mentioned before, he had three RBIs in that game, and... That that had him at a 500 batting average, three home runs, and nine RBIs, mm -hmm. which I feel like for already like within the first like four games of the season, that's kind of it's kind of fast mm -hmm. to to really rack up those kind of stats. But I do want to give a shout out. I'm almost done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to give a shout out to the Cleveland Indians pitcher, uh, Shane Beaver. Because this past yeah. game today, he had 12 Ks. Mm -hmm. 12 Ks. And yeah. I, I thought that was nuts. So, like, good job on him. And good job for uh, Jose Ramirez, who scored two home runs this past game. Mm -hmm. Very talented player. Shane Bieber as well. Um, he's a heck of a pitcher. I just want to give a rundown of what's been happening with my team, the New York Yankees. We lost the overall series to the Blue Jays. Uh, both teams did not look good at all. Um, Yankees could not 
uh, looked decent with runners in scoring positions. When they had those runners at second base, third base, they just couldn't hit. They couldn't hit the single to get the player to home plate. It was just impossible. Uh, shout out to Gary Sanchez, though, who hit back-to-back homers in each game. He looked awesome. Um, Garrett Cole looked great. DJ LeMahieu, uh is hitting pretty well. But no one else in that start half of the um, batting list just did not look on it. Uh, Corey Kluber looked pretty good coming back from a big injury for him, uh, pitcher. Major shout-out in the third and final game against the Blue Jays, Michael King pitched six innings and did not give up a single run. He was insane. Great for him. Uh, Jays were just the better team. Um, MVP of that series, I want to go with Gary Sanchez. He looked awesome. Uh, Ryu for the Blue Jays was an awesome pitcher, and they have a killer of a reliever in Merriweather. He is insane. Might be one of the best relievers in the game. I'm not sure, but he was awesome. Uh, Randall Gruchik did very good in that series, too. Two runs and four hits. Insane. But then we sort of got some revenge against the Orioles. Monday night beat them 7-0. Aaron Judge with a homer. John Carlos Stanton with a grand slam. It was awesome to see. Then on Tuesday night, uh, Aaron Judge hit another homer. Beat him 7-2. And you saw uh, Bryce Howell, uh, Shane Bieber had 12 stri- strikeouts. Last night, mm-hmm. Garrett Cole had 13 strikeouts. Just a one up oh to you. But he was doing great, yeah. too. Uh, but tonight, we sadly couldn't get the job done against the Orioles. Lost 4-3 to three in extra innings. Um, pitching just wasn't really there. Uh, Chapman did really good to relieve, but um, we didn't want to risk him and only played him one inning. He just couldn't get the job done. But shout out to Gio Urshela. He had a great game today, in my opinion. Uh, Seven pitchers in one game. Dang. Yeah. So basically, since it's still the start of the season and stuff, um, a lot of teams don't want to overthrow their pitchers. They, they're they scared of yeah. injuries right now. So that's happening with that. a lot of teams. Um, but yeah, uh, Calvin, you got any updates for the, the Braves or the Indians or anything like that? I'm just big sad. Uh, they definitely underperformed in their first series. With, or, <clears throat> the Indians the or the the Braves, the Braves, the Braves. Okay. definitely the Braves. Yeah, they, yeah, they definitely underperformed. Uh, it was kind of a shame to see them go without a win in that first bit. But thankfully, they've come back against the Nats. They got two wins today, so they should be all right. I don't think their season's over. Obviously, it just started, but it was a bit concerning at the beginning, and it could show signs of um, well, it could be a foreshadowing of things to come if they don't mm-hmm. really get things together um i noticed in one of their games um they're hitting homers which is good that's a talent to have they're hitting home runs but their pitching isn't looking as good as i think some people were expecting it to be at the start but like you said it's still very early on in the season we got tons of months tons of games i think they'll be fine overall definitely in the playoffs um but to end the video, because I think that's about all the notes I had. Oh, f- oh first shout out. Um, in, not in a positive life, but light or but uh, Tatis Jr. Hope he gets better. I know he hurt his shoulder. Uh, he hasn't had that good of a start to the season. He had five errors in one game. He's not hitting well. Hopefully that shoulder gets fixed. I'm pretty sure he doesn't need surgery on it, and that he just needs to rest. Hopefully he gets back on it. But to officially end the video, let's look over the league. Let's look over who's doing the best. Yankees, top of the East. Twins, top of the Central. Weren't you all high on the Twins on the preseason predictions? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I was. Yeah, yeah. Decent shout-out. Uh, West, Astros, on top of it, 5-1. and one. Good record. Uh, but I'm saying the Angels are going to catch up to them. Uh, A's are sucking, by the way, 1-6. to six. I might have gotten that one completely wrong. Um, going to the National League, top of the East, Phillies. Good for them. Top of the uh, – uh, um, we still have only seen three games from the Mets and the Nationals, so that, that that's still going to be interesting in the East. Um, Central, Cincinnati Reds on top of it. They're looking to be an interesting team. In the West, L.A. Dodgers on top of it. Um, shout out. I have a question. What? Yeah. Uh, so what's up with the A's? Like, do you think it's just kind of like uh, just a bad start, or are they not that good? They have... Over their past game, 
they have, they're not hitting right, but their main thing is they're giving up runs after runs after runs. Um, the Astros, they lost, uh-huh. they lost eight to oh. one, and then they're or not eight to one. Wait, they lost like every game of the Astros, like nine to something, and then the Dodgers yeah. games they were losing ten to three, five to one. They did beat the Dodgers once, but right, and that was today. They're they're giving up so many runs. Um, so their pitching simply just has to be better. Um, and I mean, they're also playing the Astros and the Dodgers. I mean, that's two talented that, baseball teams. That's true. That's two of the better teams in the league. They, they need a so break. I, um, I, I can kind of see why. Uh, yeah, I, I think on their schedule, uh, let me check right quick. They're going against the, um, who are they going against next? Why is that showing? I think it's that? the Astros again. Is it the Astros again? It is the Astros again. Then they get the Diamondbacks. The Diamondbacks could be interesting. Um, but I think maybe they'll get a little better. Who knows? But um, shout out to some of the better players right now. Uh, Nick Castellanos has four home runs. Tyler Nick Quinn for Cincinnati has four home runs. And Ryan McMahon for Colorado Rockies. I actually don't know who the heck that is. Four home runs for him. Uh <clears throat> Then we got um, Nate Lowe for the Texas Rangers. He's got 14 RBIs already. What a beast. And then uh, Yerman Mercedes has the most hits in the league with 13. But the biggest thing I want to talk about right quick to end the video is strikeouts. We already have three pitchers that have over that have 20 and over strikeouts. Number three, Trevor Bauer with 20. Number two, Garrett Cole with 21. And number one, y'all boy, y'all's boy, my boy, Shane Bieber with 24 strikeouts already in the season that's insane um but yeah uh thank y'all for watching today's episode of sports banner first one of the season um well officially kicking off the season and yeah remember hustle loyalty respect i've been i've been luca i'm here with calvin and bryce and uh y'all boys want to give a goodbye adios goodbye and good night I always try to rush it so I don't get cut off, man. <laughs> I, I'm still recording, but okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> Bang! <laughs> uh, thanks for watching the video. See y'all later. <laughs>